Greetings everyone, hello and welcome once more to Tropico 6, we're back in the game and we're having a very excited playthrough planned for you, or well I have, actually there's no team behind me, it's just me and we are going to play this game once more. Uh, last time we played it we actually had planned a mega city with as much as many people as possible living on one island and this time around we're going with maximum difficulty that means we're playing on a volcano map with frequent disasters on this is the survivor achievement so survival playthrough it is and it's going to be pretty darn interesting i think let's go into the settings real quick it's a sandbox game of course we're going to play on the randomized map so well it could be anything really these are the settings here it's a large island with a high land mass a uncommon plateau so we have stuff to build actually on it's going to be only one island that has a volcano on board right so the volcano is enabled we're going to play with normal climate though but and that's the important thing frequent disasters so we need to activate this one here for the achievement we are going to one step further though not only going to do we frequent disasters we're going to have a captain blackbeard pirate difficulty which is the highest level here we're going to be with a very strong opposition a very aggressive political difficulty and a very strong caribbean happiness demand that means yeah my people will be constantly unhappy most likely um this is going to be really tough we are going to juggle a lot of things we're going to have pirate attacks we're going to have super ally attacks we're going to have volcano disasters and meteor showers and above all yeah well we need to stay profitable and keep our population in check i'm also going with a militarist uh, dictatorship this time around so not the democratic free state we had last time nope this time we are going to press our people and try to survive this way as well this should be interesting i haven't played on this difficulty yet we'll see how far we get um we need one victory condition and that's the era modern times it is so we need to reach modern times and then we've basically won the game but of course we could continue playing then as well it's all about the achievements this one here so we're keeping all of this as high as possible and yeah without further ado i hope you enjoy this one let's get right into this game by the way shall we if you enjoy this game if you enjoy my playthroughs please consider supporting me on patreon i would very much appreciate that the link is in the video description go 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 all righty and here we are now fresh as the daisies on a new map with well, a volcano over here that is uh, towing right in the center, towering right in the center of the map. It is, well, colonial age. We don't really know the year. It's probably the 19th century. We are already living in a palace. That's great stuff, of course, with some fountains there. I love some fountains. And we do have some minions uh, that are actually, that actually followed us to this to this well potential wastelands that we are looking at here right now boy this is going to be interesting for sure uh, we're starting with a road right away of course that goes to the harbor because we don't even have a harbor connection so far so i definitely want to make this road connection uh, cracking here the game is paused right now so we have six years of mandate time right we have a mandate right now if this runs out the game is over so we will need to do um missions uh, from the from the royal crown uh, to to extend our mandate there from time to time um this is going to um add some additional challenge here of course our goal primarily is to survive but also to reach the world war eras to survive the colonial age and actually become independent and this is this is something i definitely want to achieve here now we have some twenty thousand credits or money let's call it actually tropican dollars and the tropican dollars here um are already spent on my first infrastructure project this road here we have some 50 sorry souls that are working with us right some homeless families as well and most of them well very uneducated they believe i'm a god i hope so at least and hopefully follow me until death do us part uh we have 56 support rating right now that's okay we are not going to have any election anytime soon Speaking about elections, I'm planning also, of course, to never have any elections. So we're going to be a militarist state. And yeah, those people better better follow me. Um, otherwise, they might feel the consequences. We definitely will need some prisoners for the convict labor, though. Because I also want to make money out of my prisoners. But that's something for later. So many fun things we have in store here. Now, we need to start with a basic industry first. We don't have any industry at all, right? There's nothing here. If I impose the game, we would make some huge losses. So we need to get started with that and have a look at the natural resources that Tropico is providing me. So let's just quickly check it out. Um, primarily, I'm interested in my minerals and we have that here. As I can see, lots of stuff. 
and also there. It's a bit of gold, right? We don't have a lot of space on this side here. As I can see, the island is separated by the volcano in two halves. Um, we also have this half up here that is actually really interesting for us because what I can see is there's lots of gold here, lots of nickel, lots of iron, but we are separated by this with a mountain. So we do need a tunnel first before we get to the other side. That's a potential future expansion then. So where should we start? We have a bit of further flatland over here that we can look up with the plantations. And of course, we do need to have some plantations first for even some basic stuff like corn production. As I can see, there is some nice fertile land over here. Um, we don't need corn. We do need uh, coffee, tobacco, sugar for sure. So as we can see, there is also some sugar over there. That's perfect um and some coffee we also have some further land over here that we can expand to later on because we definitely will need several of these plantations if we want to make some profit out of them corn is important because we need food first so let's get started with this very first plantation right over here next up would be then my sugar very important for the rum production that we want to have so i'm also going to have uh, a rum production somewhere over here that should be working fine next up i would like to go with some tobacco and coffee coffee is great because it's easy to export and we get some well, some nice profits out of that and then we have the tobacco which is not super important but i would still like to have it for the potential cigar production then that we can have as well these are some nice basic um plantations right now and the cool thing about them is we can use them also then in a multiculture as well let's just quickly get us a road then to this area and as i can already see yeah, nothing changed here one bit building roads is still a bit finicky in this game so we are just going to have it over there that's fantastic. These guys, unfortunately, they will need to have a, a place to live in, right? So we're also having a very, very um, strict life simulation here. So people work and live. And they live in houses, of course, um, but they need to go to work. And I want to keep those commute times as short as possible. So I will need to have some houses for those plantation workers here. So for that, we are going to add some bunk houses here so they have it very close to their plantations this brings us already down to nine thousand tropican dollars we need to be careful about that next up and this is the most important thing is my lumber and planks industry which is then a foundation for the boat industry later on let's have the logging camp and as we can see we got some nice forests over here and i would like to use this for my advantage so we're going to have a nice logging camp right over here and we're going to have one right over yeah, here. By the way, we should be careful about any potential minerals that we have, right? So we definitely want to use them. And that means I should not build anything on top of it. So let's have the logging camp right here. And let's have the sawmill right here. So we are going to have a processing industry kind of like in this area, right? So everything that we build here will be then based on processing. So let's go ahead and have this first um, lumber mill then somewhere over there where we can connect it nicely then with the area. Uh, probably a road connection should be fine. Yeah, and once again, these people want to live somewhere, so we should have some houses close by. Once again, two bunk houses I would like to add for these guys here. Now, we are very close to unpausing the game at this point. I would still like to increase the budget for my Teamster office and also get to lose uh, load limit work mode. With that, we actually get a capacity increase by 50% for each Teamster, um, but they might lose up to 10% of its freight, which is fine for me. Um, the cool thing about this is they need to transport and they need to transport quickly and 10% loss is better when we get way more capacity. All right, all right, let's unpause the game for now. This will open up all the construction sites now and my construction office will start working on this. So there they are, right? And every one of them is working something. So we got Sergio here and he is 16 years old. He's uneducated, of course, and he works in the construction office. He also lives in a shack right now. So he does not even have a real home, right? They're living in those shacks. They're not having a, a jolly good time there overall. Very poor people those guys are. There's also Mariano. He's even um, unemployed at the moment, right? So we probably have a pretty high unemployment rate here. So 22 of my 50 people are unemployed. And they're going to soon then, of course, work in my industry. One more very important building I need is the... Could be somewhere over here. My Pirate Cove, right? So we are... We, are, we, we, we can't choose. Beggars can't be choosers. We are also going to need some piratey stuff, right? So we need to, to go into the 
dubious business there as well. So let's have us a, a nice pirate cove somewhere over there. And of course, it will also need a smaller bunkhouse close by for the pirates to live in. So they're going to have some nice time here. Yeah, we're getting really low on money there. 6,000 negative now. So my hope is that my export industry will be able to jumpstart soon. All right, and they're getting now the goods back and forth. There's already the first freighter also coming, trying to get some goods in, some meat and hides we have there actually for exporting right now. Um, in that case, that's from this ranch that we have. The only, well, industrial building that we had so far, or agricultural building, you might say. So this is a tiny, weensy bit of money coming in there. And there it is, a thousand dollars, right? And four immigrants that also join. They are coming out here now. I am sorry, no there they are, so Emily here, for example. She actually thinks this is a good place to start in your life. Respect to you. Uh, respect to you, really. <laughs> we already can see some fumes coming out of the volcano there. Can't wait for the, for the first explosion. It might take some time, by the way. Revolutionary demand. Corruption is so rife. Hello, Sofia Ortega. Uh, that we have to pay a bribe to find out how much to pay in bribes. Will resist, Governor. No taxation without representation, no bribery without clarity, and no corruption without discussion. We demand agency in our own injustice. And what a perfect way to say this, really. And we, she wants me to build a library um, to get some more revolutionary immigrants in. We can accept this. We will need to get that support rating up, right, if we want to progress to the next era. In the meantime, my first plantations are getting finished. Me, and the crown also demands I build a dungeon. That's actually a pretty bad demand, right? So I'm going to discard it for now. I don't want that. It's expensive and useless in the beginning. And I'd rather go for some exporting. Alright, the next plantations are coming up. My coffee plantation is up and running. My tobacco plantation is up and running. And the sugar is now working too. Corn still not really working. My sawmill is finished together with my logging camps. Let's increase the budget of these. So they will cut down more trees. And then let's also increase the budget of my lumber mill. So that we increase the efficiency, right? So we pay a bit more money, but we get more efficiency out of it, which will lead to more planks overall, which will lead to more money, hopefully. The bank houses are ready. And as you can see, they're living and working close by. So people move in here that actually work close by. So when we click on the bunkers, we can see those that are ones that live there. So Jakob here, for example, and they have then very short commute times to we'll always have some production up. Six more immigrants, more sorry souls for my business, and also some 280 Tropican dollars. There they are eagerly moving towards their new workplaces. All four plantations are up at this point. So what we can do here is increase the budget of all of them to the maximum, right? So they have now the highest working efficiency. Holy cow, would you look at that construction site? It's incredible what these good-for-nothing people here can do for me. As long as I pay them some juicy credits. It's nice to have choices. Crown demand, fulfill and export rates. That's like exactly what I would like to have. Canada and with that, we can extend our mandate time by 18 months then. Labor. So this is Lord Roger Windham. We're going to be in contact for a while. And he's going to give me, yeah, well, quests and demands. Let's have a look at my trade menu there real quick. So here we can sort it now with export and importing. It's important for the achievement that we are never going to have an importing uh, import um, trade route here, so we are going to ignore this from the get-go. Uh, what I would like to start exporting, though, is something that I hopefully have in store. Planks! Yeah, we produce planks now, so with a 6% increased price, I can actually expand it for me. Right now, it's important that we finish this quickly to get my mandate time up and another quest demand. So I'm going with the lowest volume here, so we can do this quickly as well. Alright, Pirate Cove is up and running now. We are going to increase its budget right away, and we are going to open up the <laughs> the piratey stuff. So we can now go out there and loot ships that we find. That's my most important first thing I would like to get because this gives me some um, yeah, some materials that I can sell right away. So coffee, corn, gold is actually usually pretty good because coffee and gold is both quite valuable. And on the other hand, I would also like to rescue some people. So we're going to go in with rescue many. I don't care about educated people at this point. So we're just going with many people. And then I would also like to do some treasure hunting there to unlock me some more blueprints.
All right, by now, my lumber, I'm expecting this one here to fully work now. So as we can see, we got 1,700 logs in store in my lumber mill, right? And no workers though, where are they? They're up here right now doing some finicky stuff. I don't know what you're doing. There's nothing up there for you, right? Oh, they live there. But shouldn't we have someone? Yeah, all right. One person is living in the bunkhouse right next to them. So we will need to make sure that we actually get another um, country house and bunkhouse up here in the vicinity. Because otherwise, they will always travel back here, which is taking them ages. They're going by foot and they're taking their time. All right, by now we have still only meat and heighten. So not looking that great right now. And also no pirates. But they should be coming in now. There it is. Seven immigrants. And with that, the pirate cove has been filled. There they are. My piratey pirates are. They're going to work on that now. Was important to keep the, the money, the expenses low. Let's actually reduce the budget for all my country houses and all my bank houses to the lowest amount. So maintenance costs basically are getting reduced by that significantly. Uh, it's tight right now. 70 people we have at least so far. So we've grown quite a bit. But my money is looking not great. My industry is not really up yet. My lumber mill at least has started its work now finally. So they are working here and finally producing me planks. And lots of them as well. And we do have of course the export for the planks here. That will net me in some juicy money and rewards at the end then as well. Sugar is also coming in now. So at least there is something. My plantations are fully starting now. And I'm also going to make sure that all of them can actually live close by. So we will probably need a, a few more bunkhouses here, but they're expensive. A uh, nice day indeed. Bit sunny there, bit foggy. Probably pretty humid and hot. Next bunkhouse for the pirates is coming up. There it is. And they hopefully then work on that right away. Yeah, there's going to be some more exporting this time around. Some 2,000 planks already. And with that, we finished a trade route. Perfect. Well, you did we made some $9,000 out of this and actually reduced our debt here to 7,000 now. Cream and tea. we can also, yeah, extend our mandate time by 18 months. Four years to five years again. Now it's important to continue with the exporting. We have some tobacco here that I could go with. Also, let's go for a low volume. Um, with that, we then also get some reputation increase with the crown. And the higher our reputation is, the better contracts we'll get, right? So right now it's 5% only. It gets then to 10%, 15% and so on. Um, but for now, of course, our reputation is rather low. That's that. My teamsters are getting the resources to the docks. There is a few more things coming in now. Perfect. So tobacco we have here, planks we have corn and coffee it's important also here corn we are exporting that even though we need it for food so we pre we consume corn right but any kind of surplus gets out to the world then as well something does not feel quite right and that we also have our main Probably quest kind of like you. Presidente. So the crown receives all of our exports as we are the colony perhaps it would make a change if we weren't governed with an iron fist I can't help but notice that the will of the people is leaning in, shall we say, a more independent direction. And that's Penultimo, my trusted advisor, my sexy face. And he's going to make sure that we are on the right track here with, yeah, our independence. We can also now see the approval rating of my revolutionaries. And once this reaches 60, we can advance to the next era. Right. That's now a quest that's opening up here. And with World War, that's the next era then. We will then hopefully be able to really work on some decent industry that is the boats and of course we want to become the biggest weapon exporter in the world price fluctuations for jewelry don't care one bit right now lots of stuff in the export trade here so that's going to be great that's going to be a lot of export now and hopefully it pushes us towards a positive there again close close it was we're down to 1000 on the debt perfect fulfill an export trade once more we can accept this easily. And we should already have exported some tobacco now. Yep, 300 out of 700. We still have some time for it. So the next export probably will then finish this contract already. I'm not worried about the fumes at this point. <laughs> 
All right, a little bit later, the next ship is coming in for export, but also my pirate ship is coming in for my first loot ever that we can finish here. And with that, we looted some 1,000 coffee, 1,600 corn, and 200 gold. Something that we can then export right away. The next export takes place now, and with that, we have finished another tobacco trade route, and we are for the first time positive again on the credits on the dollar side. Well, you did the right and with that, we also get another 18 months out of our mandate, and we have six years right now available, so plenty of time. Nothing to worry about. My Teamsters over here are now getting the resources from the Pirate Cove, all that juicy loot, and get it to the docks. We can start with the next trade route right away. Coffee this time is actually pretty valuable, right? So we're looking at 11%. We also got 200 gold out of the loot. So we might actually sell some 150 out of that with the contract and actually get a higher price for this. I would like to do this. And yeah, we only have one trade license right now. I can purchase another one though for only a thousand. So we're going to do this right away. It's a nice investment. And with that, we can actually work on, yeah, coffee, for example, now, where I'm going with a bit of a medium volume here because 11% is a good price increase. And with that, we can sign the contract too and have two trade contracts now. And with that, get hopefully a better price out of my coffee that we're going to export out of this. Also, whew, something else we should do is edicts. Let's have a look at them. I don't have a lot of them available right now. Um, for starters, food for the people is my go-to here. Citizens consume now two units of food when eating. However, it increases the general food quality and it also, well, increases my reputation with my people itself as well. So we're going to issue this edict here. It doesn't cost me that much. And food we have plenty of. There's the next shipper coming in. And as we can see, lots of stuff. Also here, 182 gold we have. More. All the stuff that I wanted. More. Fulfill a trade route with the crown just on time, really. Because we're going to finish this right away. And that was the gold, of course. And with that, we made some real nice juicy money. 20,000. And with that, we are 14,000 positive for the first time. Tropico well, is profitable. Yay. Is and also, we can extend our mandate time once more by 18 months. What is El Presidente doing in the meantime? He's, yeah, on a stroll out here in the wilderness. He doesn't fear his own subjects one bit. He's visiting the plantations where all the cash is being made. He's kind of normal, by the way. That's his trait. And we have mastered the art of not standing out in a crowd. Great. That's quite helpful once uh, things turn sour and my people are actually going to, well, protest against me. All right, didn't take long for the first pirates to attack as well. So this bank house here is under attack now. The pirates over there are on their way now to the island. And yeah, we will need to do something about them. So let's quickly build us a first defensive structure. Lucky us, just on time, we have a bit of money uh, that we need to spend on defense right away. That's the guard tower here. For the blue uh, blueprint, we need to purchase, uh, we need to pay $1,000. And then $500 it cost me to build it. And this engages enemy squads during military conflicts. And it's the first basic defensive structure that we can have. Let's build it somewhere over here. And I would like to quickly build it. It's very cheap, 250 right away. So we don't need to wait. It's get, getting built instantly, and we can instantly also get us a few workers in from outside because there's also the freighter coming in right away. We don't have enough people there. We had 95, but as we can see, vacant jobs is left four, so this is not getting filled in directly, right? So we need to wait there for this freighter here. Hopefully, it's doing this on time. Doesn't look like it. That pirate ship is very fast. They've landed on the island now. There they are, and it's going to take them a while still to get to us. So let's import three workers there. They're coming with that ship now. Oh, this is this is close. Yeah, this will not be enough. There they are. Now we have the guards, but they're not at the tower yet. They still need to get here from the docks. In the meantime, the pirates are already attacking the guard tower now. So this is taking damage. There's the guards coming. Q, that was close. Now we're firing back. Still, we have taken quite some damage already. Hey, 
Excuse me, Elmsport. I Build a tannery would be a demand here now. That's an easy one. A tannery is cheap, so we can do this later. We looted another coffee, corn, and gold ship. So in that case, that's going to be some nice export boost again. Yeah, they're still all four alive, right? The first one died. Hooray. Yeah. It's going to be tough. We're a tiny, weensy bit too late for building this structure. Yeah, we're getting red here. Another one down. Of course, we still have all three guards. Mm, if, it, if it gets too close, I might need to get my National Guard in for my palace. Right, so we also have some soldiers in the palace itself. Alright, only one more left. This will be fine. He will die now any any minute, any second. There is his hit points, and as you can see, they're going down quickly. And dead he is. And with that, we actually also... We won, well, our first, our first invasion. Coffee export finished. With the next one. Oh my goodness, we're making bank here right now. Great stuff. That was a very fine export there indeed. And with that, we finished both of my trade contracts as well. So I can go ahead with another one. Um, we should have gold, right? No, we don't have gold anymore. Ah, yeah, we have. So we can go ahead and just get us this one. And look at that. Now we're getting 20% uh, value here, right? For this gold there. Let's sign it. And something uh, that is a bit more lasting. We have tobacco here. We are producing lots of it. And that's 18% more. So I would uh, like to go for a higher volume there, right? Rum, we're not producing yet. However, that's about to change. Now we have some money. And with that, I would like to get my next industry up and running. So we have a sugar plantation. And over here, we have some space. So let's go ahead and build us the next industry, processing industry. And that's the rum distillery. It costs us a whopping 10,000. That's a lot, right? But it's going to be hopefully worth it. Let's get it here. And let's also, of course, get us a bunkhouse close by. So we definitely want to have those, um, yeah, people living close by. Two more bunkhouses. People don't have to travel so long. That's going to take quite some time, don't know. And it was also very expensive. Yeah, another raid attack. Another pirate attack. This time, though, my guard tower is not operational. Uh, yes, problem. Increase... My construction office is there, and please repair it quickly. Someone should actually get to it soon. There it is. And they repair it hopefully now. There it is. Perfect. Also, once again, just on time. Holy cow, this is close. But this time we have the soldiers at the side already. And as you can see, yeah, this will be fine. Before the next squad of pirates is arriving here. Those four pirates. They're not going to have... A fun time here, even though they're trying. Can't blame them. The bank houses have been finished, and so the rum distillery. And with that, rum or sugar is in already, and we are now processing it to rum. The juicy tropical rum, alcohol for the world, ready to export, of course. We are exporting all the nice things. Rum, alcohol, right? Weapons, soon hopefully. And boats, so you can use the weapons and the boats in combination. There it is. We have finished also that gold trade route again. To get another extra cash out of it. 10,000 we made. Uh, yep, we are having some rescue missions now. We need that because we do need to yeah, fill in those jobs. We have 19 vacant jobs right now. That's not good. It's bad for bad for business. Two more left here only. So this is, this is easy. There's no real thing happening. Problem really is my vacancies. So especially here, the plantations, we need to start importing some people. Right? Plantations are super important. We can't let them stay idle. Absolutely not. The same goes with my logging camp. So we'll uh, import people here. It does cost me a bit, but it will be, of course, for great advantage. All right, I think also that's the first batch of rum. There it is, 700 rum we're exporting now with the next freighter. That's going to be nice because rum is quite valuable. The same with planks and tobacco. So there we are making some profit. I do have still my tobacco trade open. Uh, wasn't there some rum here? There it is, rum and 20% increase. Let's go with a high volume for this one right away to so make some really juicy bank here, right? This is, this is actually something. All right, the next pirates are coming in, probably giving me some more people. The rescue has been finished, and with that, we're 99 people. 
and there's the ship coming in and with that we should actually breach the 100. Perfect! 100 people in Tropico. There's actually over 100 sorry souls that would like to join me on my adventure. And we also made some $16,000 here, leading to $30,000 right now. Ah, we will need another bunk house here. Right, because those people are actually living in shacks, which is not good. With that amount of money, I can actually work on some entertainment. People like this and need this. And the tavern is the first one here. Provides fun to visiting citizens and tourists alike. Um, yeah, and we can have, I think, we can have two right away. The one we can have here by the plantations, docks and pirate cove. And one I would like to have here a bit more centrally. I'm close to also all of this industry here and my, my rum distilleries and my people living in the town itself, right? The two taverns we can have. And I will also need to build a tannery. This is, well, 6,000 is actually not that cheap. Hmm. You know what? Let's actually discard this. Abandon this mission. We do lose some repetition with the crown, but our repetition is pretty high at this point with them. So no problem here, and we get a new mission soon. I don't want the tannery. It's too expensive, and leather is not that valuable. The next pirate attack. Also coming in again from the same area, so we can keep the guard tower here. Fully operational. That's great. The next freighter, as we can see, we got almost 4,000 planks here in stock right now. Also some 700 tobacco. Unfortunately, no rum is coming out this time because my rum distillery does not have enough sugar. Oh, uh, where's my sugar plantation? There it is. Uh, we have enough people there, really. That was not such a nice export here, right? We need to make sure that we produce a lot there. Fighting takes place. That's fine. We are looking at 2% support rating right now. That's also not great. But we have the money, so let's build the library to also appease the revolutionaries. Library is a nice representative building, so we probably can have it somewhere here close to the palace. Where we then can start with the researching as well. And we have finished it right away. Let's invite some people for it, because you need educated people. High school education, really. Uh, build a rum distillery. Sorry, I've done this already. And build the library. We appreciate your help. We get 10 revolutionary immigrants right away. With that, we increase our support rating. Uh, we're at 59 almost out of 60. So we could soon probably advance to the next era. Though I would definitely like to have a bit more in, in, in cash here before we do this. Uh, only 10,000. My exports is actually going down. We will need to try and fix this. Probably building another Teamster office and some more plantations. And we continue onwards here. So far, so good. In the next episode, right? No volcanic er eruption so far. Some pirate attacks. Yeah, otherwise we're juggling with the economy in the beginning. Pretty difficult. But we can hopefully manage this and move on to a more militarist state. I should say. Paradise, of course. Stay tuned.